Hi and welcome to this big picture and big gigant tutorial. Today we'll talk about dependencies or the links and I'm going to show you how they can help you in auto scheduling your tasks but also how they can visualize the relation between your different work items. So before we start please have a look at the timeline and right now I'm using auto scheduling and as you can see a simple drag and drop can actually reschedule all your linked issues. Now this could be a problem but we do have a scenario mode and I do recommend using it whenever it is enabled you will be able to undo all the actions. Okay so let's have a closer look at the links. If you click on the link you will see the dependency details which shows the target task the dependency type, the lag time, as well as the as soon as possible mode, which is very useful whenever scheduling. So let's remove this link first. And as you can see right now, if I drag and drop the issue, well, I can do it freely, shift it, expand it, and nothing will happen. Now, if I want to create a link, all I need to do is to hover over the task, a dot will appear next to it, and I can drag and drop it to create such a link. Now, I can also disable the as soon as possible mode. In that case, the successor, the connected issue will not be dragged back. And also the lag time adds a gap between the tasks. In my case, it's set to five, so it's five days. It includes the non-working days as well. The lag time can be also set to a negative value in case you want to show that the successor starts earlier than the end date of the predecessor, which is especially useful when you want to show a milestone, which is a point in time, so it doesn't, it doesn't behave as a regular task, it is a moment in time. Let me now convert the milestone to a regular task. In that case, I will use the right click menu and the right click and convert to a regular task. I will also remove the links that I don't need right now. So just click on the link and hit the delete button. Now you can change the link type. As you can see, there are five options to pick from. I will select the end to end. These are pretty standard to those of you who are familiar with Microsoft Project or other Gantt chart tools. There's one additional link referred to as soft, which I will discuss later. So let's change the link. And as you can see right now, uh, whenever I drag and drop the tasks, they behave differently or the successor has to end on the same date as the predecessor. So when I try to drag and drop it, the linked issues either will return to the previous position or will not move at all. This is a kind of constraint that can prevent you from moving tasks. Now, when I remove the as soon as possible mode, you will see that the successor can end later than the predecessor, but not earlier than predecessor's end date. This is very important and keep that in mind. Okay, so now let's have a look at the configuration of the dependencies. To map the different links, go to the Jira administration Jira Administration Manage Apps, Big Picture Technical Configuration, select General and Links. Here you will find all the different mappings and as you can see the default links are already selected, they are added to your Jira during the installation of our app. You can change the mapping but we do recommend using the default ones as, as these are standard to the Gantt chart module. There is one additional link, it's referred to as soft link and this will be the primary link used by the board module. So let's have a look at the differences between the types of links in Big Picture, soft and strong. And I will now open the board module, drag and drop one of the tasks or one of my stories to one of the iterations. And if I open it in a new window, you will see that there are actually no links at all. Okay, so let's create such a dependency and let's visualize it using Big Picture. So again, I need to drag and drop the dependency and as you can see, the link turned out red. Uh, I'm, by the way, using the blocks link. The red link shows me that the sequence is incorrect. If I drag and drop the OA94 and connect it with the other task, you'll see that uh, the link is displayed in green, which indicates that the dependency is correct. Now, both of the links were created within Jira as they are synced bidirectionally. Uh, of course, I can also add them directly from the issue screen and they will be also reflected in big picture on the board module. Let's have a look again at the board module and there are a couple of uh, important features that you might need and um, first of all you can decide what type of links are displayed. Right now I don't have any strong links but let me create one if I want to do that. Double click on the dot next to the task, select the type of link, select the target task and let's switch to start to end. 
Now, as you can see, the link is drawn as the dashed line and the soft links are indicated with the solid line. The default link of the board module is again the soft link. In case of the Gantt, the default link, which you create using drag and drop, will be the strong link. And depending on which edge you start dragging the link from, the right edge or the, the left edge, you will start with start or end to type of link. You can also collapse the links, uh, in, which, in which case you will not see the, the, the line, but uh, you will only see that there is a dependency. And remember that these are the constraints that might prevent you from moving the task. Whenever auto scheduling is enabled, you will see that the linked issue, auto bottom up or auto top down, the linked issue will be moved accordingly. This will also happen during the synchronization when auto scheduling is enabled. So also keep this in mind or you might unintentionally reschedule your tasks. If on the other hand I create a soft link, this type of link does not have a, a scheduling impact. So as you can see here nothing happens and uh, it's uh, the opposite compared to the board module. So the soft links are drawn as the dashed line and the strong links with scheduling impact are indicated with that solid line. You will also find an info bar with a list of dependencies on the right hand side of the screen. In that case you can filter out your dependencies, uh, you have the links to the source and target task and you can adjust the view so to focus on a particular link. Soft links are not displayed in this side menu. One more thing which you will find in the board's view dropdown is the additional filter show task with dependencies only. When this is enabled, when, whenever you try to drag and drop cards to the board, they might disappear. So it's worth to check this kind of th this filter in case you have any problems if you don't see the cards that you would like to. So that's it. Thank you for your attention and make sure to check our YouTube channel for more tutorials.